Hey everyone, so today's exercise is to help people shift into their hips better from side to side because this is so essential for proper walking mechanics. So we are going to need an elevated surface. I like to just use an old textbook. It's about, about an inch and a half thick, but um, it's nice and sturdy and I have it on a yoga mat so it doesn't slide. So you are gonna have both feet, one on the book, one on the floor. And I want you to have your weight nice and even, okay? I wanna make sure that you don't have your low back super arched, so just give me a little tuck and a nice bend in the knees, okay? From there, all we're gonna do is we are going to use the leg that's on the foot and push us over onto the leg that is on the book, all right? From there, what you should start to feel is some muscles on this outer hip. You might feel a stretch and then also some muscle activation some inner thigh, hamstring, calf, and then also you'll get some quad, all right? We don't have very much pressure on this leg. I tell people it's almost more of a kickstand just to help with balance, but we're using it to help push us over into this hip, all right? This looks like it would be easy, but for a lot of people, you'll find that the muscles actually are very weak in this position. So from here, if you're one of my clients that I've taught to breathe, you can hang out in this position, and do some of that deep breathing. Otherwise, you can just sit here, hold the, the position, and really feel those muscles working. So I also wanna show you it from the side, just because I think it helps to see how far I'm sitting back. So once again, weight's even between both feet, all right? I don't want anyone in this arched position, so just give me a little tuck. From there, slight bend in the knees. And once you have that bend in the knee, you'll see that once I shift over, this knee actually doesn't go any more forward from where it currently is, all right? So I'm here, I'm going to keep my feet nice and flat, shift all that weight over onto this leg, and then from there, I'm just holding. And I'm really feeling these muscles work, not letting any swaying happen, not letting that knee go forward. This is me kind of sitting into this hip, all right? So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, give that a try. Slowly build your time up. If you can only hold it for 20 seconds, great. Slowly try to get it up to even just a minute, and then we'll go dynamic with it next.